never seen anything like that. And then he went ballistic. Links, rechts, links, rechts, links, rechts, links, rechts. Wait, is it really here? Oh my god! Are people trolling or is it really here? Wow! He's the best! No limit on the icon, dude. There's 26 days remaining on the loan, but the actual Prime Moments icon, the actual Optimus Prime icon, there's no time limits. Bro, that's freaking sick! Drop a like on the video if you're okay with being an adult virgin. I'm an adult virgin. Well, something, boys, and welcome to the Clarence Seedorf. <laughs> no, he's not a guy that I would usually look at, but the Clarence Seedorf uh, Prime Icon SBC. Now, the reason I say this might be the best Prime Icon SBC, not just a specific to his particular card, but it looks like EA have listened to us as a community and they've removed. Um, I mean, I know the that says that and there's 12 days on the regular one, but on the Prime Icons one, at least on this uh, Rude Van Nistelrooy Prime Icon Moments, which is something that, which now means we can grind towards that, as well as the uh, Clarence Sato for one, which I believe comes in around 1.5 million coins. So for a card of this stature, with these stats, uh, not a bad valuation. 1.3, like I said, 1.5 million coins on Xbox. So I don't know. The question of the epi is, do you guys, do you guys like that EA have done this? Do you guys like that they've taken away the timestamp on the Prime Icon Moments SPCs? A lot of them are going to be very expensive, this one not so much, and you get a really, really good player for that. Four star, four star, Dutch. I was just about to say he links into any squad. Oh my god. If you guys like the movie A did with removing the time on the Prime Icon SPC, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, as usual, hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to go ahead and submit our 182 rated squad, and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to submit this, and... Never seen anything like that. <laughs> Manager wants to make a substitution. Why, why can't I... The replacement's ready to go on. It's not... And the player that is on... It's not letting me submit... In his case, Kepa refuses to come off. Uh oh. I'm really deleting the channel now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna submit this uh, 182 rated squad for a lone Clarence Sidorf, uh, Ajax, Santeria, and then spent most of his career with Milan, Inter Milan, and spent uh, a couple times, uh, a couple other clubs in the Serie A. Very, very famed historic Dutch international, obviously, Clarence Sidorf. And we've built a squad that I think is appropriate for his legacy. We put together an Ajax, and then also we put in a little bit of a flair. Obviously, heavily Ajax. Uh, Dutchies are going to love the fact that we built mostly uh, mostly Dutch squad. We've got Wout Weghorst, the 6'6 human beast up there, along with that flashback Huntelar. And we are, like I said, going to go get our main man, Clarence Seedorf. I've not used him this year. This is the second lone icon that I've... Uh, this is the second prime icon SBC that I've done. And why is there... What's going on with the chemistry? Oh, hold on. If we... Hold on. We do that? No? Wait, why is there chemistry up? Why is there chemistry that bad? We've got Celestin and then Taglia. Foo! Never seen anything like that. Nickname Il Professore. Il Professore. He went to the studying team a master's degree at the Bocconi University of Milan. That's actually pretty sick. How many goals did he score for? Uh, how many goals did he score? Damn, he banged them in, dude. 300 appearances? Guys, 300 appearances for Milan, 47 goals. That's pretty wild, dude. goals that I concede are so trash and like I, I don't want to say it was my fault but dude that was absolutely Christian Pulisic scores a like a goal that Optimus Prime 99 Pele should be scoring the 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 control of dreams and then that second goal is absolute trash absolute horse cock <laughs> Let's go! Clarence Seedorf, that's what he's got! 1-0, and we're gonna do the Dutch dubke. Get those engines ready, bros. Get those Vespas ready. We got it, dude. Come on. The moment that I connected with that ball, I already knew. I called it. I, like, you know how Mike... Yeah, you guys probably wouldn't get that reference. Michael Jordan, you know what I'm talking Like, he would call the shots? All right. Clarence? 
The agility of dreams. Oh, we gotta have that. All right, that's a that's a mark down. A guy with 94 finishing, that has to be in, dude. There's no excuses for that not to be in the back of the net. With a guy that has the shot power that Clarence Sidorf has, as well as the finishing, dude. That's uh, that's inexcusable. He's only 5'9", so that's obviously that's that's a tick down. You're not going to want to play him up at striker. Uh, and then 76 agility, like very average. I would say probably that's probably the most average stat that he has. No defending to speak of. He's got 69, right, with 83 interceptions. So that's like a very strange stat that sort of just stands out. Every stat is attacking based, and then he's just got like a, an 83 interceptions, which is almost on par with what he has for finishing. Just a, a very weird card that I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how to place. Could he be like the the Dutch con the Dutch Conte? Be like 1.3 million coins more expensive. Oh, well, that was no good. Beautiful little finish from... I think that was... Was that was that Hunty? Yeah, that was Kutrone to, uh, to Klaasian Huntelar. Let's go. We're hunting, boys. It's hunting season. Never seen anything like that. Nine shots, seven on target, 51% possession. And uh, the dribbling stats, as good as his dribbling stats, very misleading. Just because everything else is pretty much 90+, plus, right? Every other dribbling stat is 90+, plus, and then his agility is just sort of sitting there at 76. And you guys know I love myself a very agile player. Part of the reason we use the engine uh, to get him a little bit more agile. And he feels a little bit more agile, but I don't know. I feel like he's maybe just lacking a little bit something. FIFA, FIFA points, points. FIFA, FIFA points, points. FIFA, FIFA points, points. FIFA, FIFA points. I just got a copyright claim on a video, dude. Stop tramping it. What the fuck has he just done? See, that's the agility right there. He doesn't have it. He's too rigid. He's too rigid, dude. He doesn't. God damn it, Clarence Sador. 76, 76 agility? Why? Why have 90 dribbling and only 76 agility? Was he that? He's 5'9". How does he have 76 agility if he's 5'9"? He's 5'9", and Golo Kante, that's one of his best stats, is the fact that he has crazy agility like that. Dude, Clarence Seedorf was way more agile than 76. This guy's got himself an 87 baby icon, uh, Socrates. He's got prime icon, Mikhail Balak, Lucas, and then Joelinton. Okay, so he's got a very scary-looking squad, and my squad's just not gelling at all. I'm just having one of those days on FIFA. I don't know if you guys can relate. But I'm legitimately just having one of those days on FIFA. First match was absolutely dreadful. Second match... We scored and we were maybe a little bit too overconfident. And then in this third match, if it doesn't... Yeah, dude, you guys might not see a video today if this one doesn't go right. Kutron! Never seen anything like that. Referee? No. This is so dumb. Come on, Jesus! What do we have to do to get a goal, man? Wow, okay, Patu Kutron is there for the cleanup, and then yeah, Klaas Jan Hundelar was very close to having an absolute banger of a goal to kick things off here. Ah, oh, Division Rivals sucks. I honestly hate Division Rivals. I don't know about, I don't know how you guys feel, but honestly, I enjoy Foot Champs ten times more than I enjoy playing Rivals, especially on a Tuesday. But Tuesday's, Tuesday's no walk in the park either. Rivals over, Rivals on the weekend is, is actually really, really chill. Off. <sighs> Clarence Sadorf in the case of the flapping dreads. I mean, four female Ghostbusters? The feminists are taking over. I'm an adult virgin. 
one goal in five matches. I'm not, uh, no, nope. No, not this one. Clarence Sid, what's wrong with his card? Is it because it's medium, medium, he doesn't know what he is? I don't think Clarence Sidorf knows what he is. I think maybe he needs to be an RCM or s a striker or I, I don't know. I don't know what his card is. He's got so many incredible stats, but for, for whatever reason, we just weren't able to make him work. This might be one of the better icons for the fact that you can take as much time as you want to complete him. But in terms of performance on the pitch for me, he just didn't cut it at a position where I thought he was going to be good. Scored us one goal, one absolute howitzer banger. But outside of that, did absolutely nothing for us. So I, I, I don't know how to rank him. You know what? We, we have this little thing here where we go like that, and then it's not going to be anywhere near that. It's going to be probably closer to this. It's going to be probably closer to this because I'm sure some of you guys out there are going to be better than me at the game and figure out how to use him. But it's not going to be a full thumbs down. It's going to be an in-between this and in-between neutral. So uh, that is going to be uh, that is going to be how I rank him. Again, 1.4, 1.5 million coins. Probably worth it if you want to grind it eventually. But there's probably going to be other guys that come out that are maybe going to be worth, you know, 2 million, 2.5 million and just have more carved out role in terms of... Uh, how you can use the card. I don't know. It was a strange day on FIFA for me. I don't know if, if it's the new patch. Uh, you know, sometimes they fix something like goalkeeper movement and then something else gets broken. But I don't know. This Clarence Seedorf, as, as excited as I was to use him, as, as excited as I was to use this squad, just was not able to get it done. So I'm going to have to give him, like I said, a uh, just below neutral rating on the 92 Prime Icon uh, Prime Icon Optimus Prime Clarence Sadorf, and I'm gonna, I would say he's probably a Decepticon because he looks nuts, but for me just wasn't able to do it. You guys let me know in the comments how you guys have fared with him. If you did his loan, let me know on Twitter, but uh, yeah, that is going to do it for the epi today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, as always, hit that subscribe button down below. Hopefully this was able to help you look at his card a certain way. If not, maybe hopefully it works out for you, but for me, just was not able to do it. But like I said, boys, I'll see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Hopefully a flashback Robin or Ribery. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. A bit.